What's up guys, my name's Justin, and today I'm going to show you how to spray paint your name in Photoshop. Alright, so this effect is really easy to do, but hopefully you learned some techniques in this video that you could carry on to any of your future projects. So first things first, let's open up Photoshop, and I just got a blank texture stock image of some cardboard here, or some paperboard. So now that we have our cardboard laid out, we need to get our stencil. So what I did was I went to defont.com and I downloaded this stencil font right here. So I'll link that for you guys below. Now let's type out our name. So I'm going to grab my text tool. I'm going to pick my stencil font that I just downloaded and installed. And I'll go ahead and start typing here. And we're going to use our name. Hopefully your name is not name. Well, I don't know. It's not the worst name. But <laughs> for anyone named name out there, this will work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and move it till it's in the center. And also you could double click and make sure you have an appropriate size that's big enough for your canvas. You want to make sure people can see it. So once you have your stencil laid out, you want to go ahead and hold command on a Mac and then click on the text layer. This is going to select everything on this layer. So it's kind of going to give us our cutout in Photoshop. Now I want to go to layer, new layer, and here is where we're going to do our spray painting. So go ahead and hide your original layer and then grab your rectangular marquee tool and then right click and select inverse. So now we can only work on everything but that stencil. So I'm going to go ahead and now we need to grab our spray paint can or in this case our brush tool. So I'll grab my brush tool and you just want to set it to a size that's just a little bit smaller than the size of your letters. So something like this should be fine for me. And I'll also notice that I'm using the bracket keys to easily increase and decrease my brush size. That's a really useful tip. If you don't want to do that, you can always just use the slider right here. So anyways, I've got a decent brush size for my text. It's going to be different for everyone. And now I want to make sure I have this button checked right here. This is the airbrush uh, button. And what it does is if you click and hold, uh, it'll act like it'll just keep building up the paint. So. Lastly, we want to adjust the opacity to be about 75%, and then the key to give it that grainy spray paint texture is to go into the brushes panel, so go to Window, Brush, and make sure you check Noise. So that's just going to give it that noisy spray painty look. So now I can minimize my brushes panel, and before we start spraying away, make sure you pick your color. So your foreground color right here, you can just double click on it and choose whatever color you want. I'm going to stick with good old trusty black. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And then I can just start brushing away. And you want to click and let go and click and let go a few times. Because remember, we set it to 75% opacity. So just like a, a real um, spray paint can, some spots are going to be darker than others. Um, you can also adjust the size of the brush halfway through and maybe lower the opacity and just give it some last brushes, kind of as if you were to hold the can a little bit further and just give the stencil some last sprays. So once you're happy with your brushing, just go ahead and hit Command D to deselect. You can also go back to your rectangular marquee tool and right click deselect. But there you have your stenciled out uh, spray paint look, but it's not quite ready yet. It's a little bit too perfect. So what I like to do is head over to my smudge tool, which you'll find right under the blur tool if you click and hold it. And then I like to set the strength to about 15% and set the size to something small compared to your text. For me, it's going to be 30, but you can see in relation how it looks. And then I'm just going to click and smudge around a few of the edges. 
So this is going to make it a little bit more realistic. It's going to look like the stencil kind of slipped up in places and some spray paint seeped through. And also once after you do all of the uh, or a few of the edges and get them a little bit smudgy and blurry. If you want to have some drips or add some drips into there, you can keep your smudge tool exactly how it is. Maybe uh, lower the size a tiny bit and increase the hardness a bit. And then just click and pull on a certain area and just drag it down a few times. So you can see this drip start to form and you can do this a few different times across a few different areas. So pretty much just play around with the smudge tool just to give it your own personal touch and just make it look a little bit better. And then lastly, if you're working with a color other than black, you can always set the blending mode to something like hard light so that it gets some of the texture of whatever's behind it, in this case the cardboard. And you can also turn the opacity down to maybe like 95 or 90 percent. So there's your final effect. That's how to spray paint your name in Photoshop. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for more Photoshop tutorials and leave me a comment or question on anything you had trouble with or anything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.